Hello, Mastalino students! Welcome to Mastalino Classroom. Ngayong araw, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa universal set and subset. We'll start with this simple activity. Gamit lamang ang mga numero na nakasulat sa bilog na chips, ibigay ang bawat elements ng set na aking ibibigay. Okay? For the first set, Correct. The elements of set A are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. For the second set, Good. The elements of the set B are 2 and 4. For the third set, You got it. The elements of set C are 2, 3, 5, and 7. And for the last set, Great! The elements of set D are the counting numbers 1 through 10. If we form a set consisting of the numbers written on the chips, we call it as the universal set, while the sets A B, C, and D that we have formed out from it are its subsets. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng universal set? The universal set contains all the elements being considered in a given situation and denoted by a capital letter U. Again, going back in our previous activity, we have considered only the numbers written on the chips. So, the universal set is the set U, which contains the counting numbers 1 up to 10. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng subset? Set A is a subset of B written as A subset of B if and only if every element of A is also an element of B. Sa ating salita, ang set A ay matatawag lamang na subset ng set B kung lahat ng elements kay set A ay nandoon din kay set B. From our previous activity, we say that set A is a subset of set U dahil lahat ng elements kay set A ay nandoon din kay set U. Ganon din kay set B, set C, at set D. Sila ay subsets ng set U. With the same reasons, set B is a subset of set A, set B is a subset of set D, and set A is a subset of set D. But, set A is not a subset of set B. Dahil hindi lahat ng elements kay set A ay nandoon kay set B. Also, set B is not a subset of set C. Dahil mayroong elements kay set B na hindi makikita kay set C. Nilalagyan lang natin ng slash ang subset symbol para sabihin na hindi siya subset. Remember that any given set is a subset of itself, and an empty set is a subset of any given set. Kailan ba magiging proper subset ang isang subset? Set A is a proper subset of B, written as A proper subset of B, if and only if, number one, A is a subset of B, and number two, B has at least one element that is not in A. Again, from our previous activity, we say that A is a proper subset of set U. Dahil una, si set A ay subset ni set U. At pangalawa, merong element si set U na wala si set A. Ganon din si set B at set C sila ay proper subsets ni set U. But, set D is not a proper subset of set U. 
Totoo ang una na si set D ay subset ni set U. Pero walang element si set U na wala si set D. Kaya pwede nating sabihin na si set D ay subset ni set U. Pero si set D ay hindi proper subset ni set U. Nilalagyan lang natin ng slash ang proper subset symbol para sabihin na hindi siya proper subset. Remember that an empty set is a subset of itself, but it is not a proper subset of itself. Let's try. Tell whether the given set is a subset of the set A. If it's a subset, specify if it is a proper subset or not. Let us discuss the answers. For number one, it's a subset and it's proper. Lahat ng elements ng given set ay nandoon din kay set A. Ngunit, hindi lahat ng elements ni set A ay nandoon kay given set. For number two, it's a subset and it's proper. Ang empty set ay proper subset ng lahat ng set, except lamang ng empty set. For number three, it's a subset but not proper. Ang given set ay subset ni set A, ngunit lahat ng elements ni set A ay nandoon kay given set. And for number 4, it's not a subset. Hindi lahat ng elements ng given set ay nandoon kay set A. Ilan kaya ang posibleng subsets ng isang set? Let us explore by completing the table. For the first set, it has zero elements. Listing its possible subsets, we only have empty set, since an empty set is a subset of any given set. So, an empty set has only one subset. For the second set, it has one element. Listing its possible subsets, we have empty set and the set itself, since any set is a subset of itself. So, a set with one element has two subsets. For the third set, it has two elements. Listing its possible subsets, we have the empty set, two sets with one element, and the set itself. So, a set with two elements has four subsets. For the fourth set, it has three elements. Listing its possible subsets, we have the empty set, three sets with one element, three sets with two elements, and the set itself. So, a set with three elements has eight subsets. May napapansin ba kayong pattern? In the number of subsets column, we know that 1 can be written as 2 to the power of 0. Since a non-zero number with exponent 0 is always equal to 1. Also, 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 1. 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. The exponents of the powers of 2 corresponds to the number of elements in the given set. So, the set with n elements has 2 to the power of n subsets. 
Let's answer the following questions. We'll study the solutions for each item. For number one, since the set has four elements, it has 16 subsets because 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. For number 2, since the set has 7 elements, it has 128 subsets because 2 to the power of 7 is equal to 128. For number 3, be careful because the given is the number of subsets and we are asked to find the number of elements. Since a set has 64 subsets, it has 6 elements. It is because we have to use 2 as a factor 6 times in order to get a product of 64. Do you have any questions about our lesson? If none, test yourself by answering the following. You may pause the video for a while to answer and comment down your answers when you're done. That's all for today class. Goodbye!